What's up everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net and behind me you will see not a town car but another Panther. This is of the Mercury flavor um, and if you know me you know I absolutely love 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 the gingerbread uh, that these cars can come trimmed out with and this is probably a memorable car for me because I absolutely love how this car is trimmed out. It's 2003 Mercury Grand Marquis LS Ultimate 49,000 miles, one owner, California car, absolutely gorgeous. It's got all the right things checked off for me. Let's see if it's got all the right things checked off for you. I'm gonna show you to you in this video here, tell you all about it, let's get into it. And here she is, a beautiful 2003 Mercury Grand Marquis LS Ultimate. Uh, this is the first year of this kind of slightly refreshed design with the larger uh, headlights in the front, larger cornering lights, bigger grill, um, and then the... Well, I, I think they refreshed the interior a little bit compared to the 98 to 02 model year uh, Grand Marquis. They also refreshed the front suspension in all the Panther cars. Um, so this is this is kind of a, you know, first of the end of the body style. They did refresh again a little bit. No six headlights and everything, uh, but nothing too, too crazy. Uh, this car I absolutely adore. Why? Because it's got all the glitz and glamour to it. When I say gingerbread, I mean all the extra trimmings uh, on the top. Well, the top. It's got the chrome flare. It's got the chrome wheels, white walls, gold trim. I absolutely adore this car. It's just the way it is. And usually I'm not a kind of a brown or bronzish colored car guy fan, but the way that this thing is set up, it just absolutely works uh, with the beige top, the gold trim, um, those beautiful chrome wheels, and then the uh, white sidewall tires, which I put on. Uh, but otherwise, this car is as I got this car. And I probably would have chromed it out, maybe put some rocker panels on it if I bought this new. But um, if whoever buys this car is interested in that, I can add a little bit more flair to it. And I actually think that would tie it in quite nicely because you get the chrome wheels. It would tie it in real well on the bottom there. Anyways, it's a beautiful, almost 60 degree day. It's springtime. I'm wearing shorts. Um, <laughs> I'm excited to show you cars. I'm starting to feel the spring effects out here. Trees are budding, all that good stuff. Before I get too far into this video, though, I do want to say one thing. I want to thank all my fans, followers, subscribers for buying Girl Scout cookies from my daughter. She ended up selling 540, 545 boxes of Girl Scout cookies. Um, and I couldn't have done it without, she couldn't have done it without you. Um, I hope everybody who ordered them uh, is enjoying them. If you got a later order in recently, it's probably still in the process of shipping. Go away, fly. The bugs are already out. Um, but I just wanted to thank everybody. We got over 500, so she's now in the 500 club. She sold the most amount of cookies in her troop. Uh, so she's kind of an MVP over there. Uh, so again, thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if I can get her... What did I smudge the windshield? Oh, I did. Nice job, Anthony. If I can get her in a video soon, I will. Uh, but anyways, just want to thank you. Cookie sales are over. But back into this Grand Marquis. So this is an early 2003, which would have made it um, what Ford considers a job number one car. So this has kind of like the town cars, some neat little things that were only available early 03 model years. Um, this is a pretty well equipped LS Ultimate. Having the alloys, but not only alloys, chrome plated alloys. Um, it's got air ride suspension. It's got digital dash. Uh, wood steering wheel, dual power seats. The one thing it doesn't have, and I don't know if I mentioned this, this is a one owner California car, so it was ordered new in the West Coast. Uh, it's lived in Palm Springs, California its whole life. It does not have heated seats, which obviously probably wasn't a thing that was even on somebody's mind, but 
Um, then after that, someone put the top on it, someone put the pillars on it, uh, the chrome wheel arches and the gold trim and just really tied this thing together. It's a beautiful, beautiful example. Go around, show you some very minor little chips and stuff here. Nothing too, too crazy uh, on this car. It's got a real nice burgundy painted stripe down the side. These chrome wheel arches. If you don't like that Nana Papa look, you know, I get it. I love this look. I love the setup. And I know it's not for everybody. It's a 50-50 split. Some people hate the tops. They like the trim. Some people hate the trim. They like the tops. Whatever. Everybody's different. And this was just a way for, you know, the owner of this car to kind of individualize and make it stand out. Or it was done this way. I doubt it was done this way by the, the dealer just to sell it because usually they, a dealer, if a dealer just elected to do it, it was done as kind of like a lost leader car where they take like a super base model car, dress it up to push it off the lot. But um, this being an LS Ultimate is definitely not one of those cars. Anyways, so let's go around, show you some of the little minor things here or there. Nothing too, too crazy. Beautiful, clear uh, lights, lenses up front. Did just install four brand new tires, beautiful chrome wheels. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. No pitting in the pockets. California car, so this car is just brand new underneath. Uh, I did install the four new tires. Uh, obviously, I had to put white walls on it. It didn't have white walls to begin with. When I was sold new, it did have white walls, though. We had a little kind of blistering here. Just on this chrome insert, the door, the rear door looked fine from here. Um, but you got a little bit of blistering right there, just on that little tape, excuse me, taped on trim. Side mirrors are all in great shape. Windshield is in great shape. Got the stainless pillar trim here. Again, love it or hate it. I love it. You can hate it, that's fine. Uh, cloth top is in great shape on this car as well. Up down the side here, real straight, no dings or anything like that. Maybe a little bit of a mark on the door edge there. A few little blisters just there. And actually, weirdly, on this back half. I honestly don't know what causes that. It's weird that it did it on this end and that far, far end. Uh, but you come down here, it's just nice and straight, nice and clean. A little bit of mud I must have picked up somewhere. Nice job, Anthony. But beautiful chrome wheels, 16 inch, with a brand new set of 225 6016 white sidewall tires. Just real beautiful. No dings, not a lot of nano marks, as I call them. I mean, even bumpers are in great shape. A little bit of a mark right there. Now, I didn't know this when I bought it because there was an American flag decal there. Obviously, Nana put that over it just hide that little divot but tail lights are in great shape paint on this car is in beautiful shape all the gold trim shows real nice obviously this car was garaged because this car wouldn't have survived california not being garaged and looking this nice two little puck marks from looks like maybe a, a front license plate screws a couple little other just random minor scratches right there Overall, real clean. The top, again, shows well. All Even the button snaps are gold-plated. Does still have the top tag here. Can't really see what that says. It looks like it says Kelly's, which is kind of odd. I would have thought it would have said E&G. But all the stitching in here, I mean, just real nice. Usually, you start to see this um, finish edge, the, the, the stitching starting to come apart. Real, real nice. One thing with this car, when I got this car, I was so excited to get this car. And this is a perfect example of the risks, I guess. I don't know. I've never really had any issues with transporting cars. Um, but this car, I, my heart was so warm and fuzzy knowing this car was coming in. And then when it got delivered, my heart was broken immediately. Um, I have since mended my broken heart. Uh, when this car came in, the transporter who transported this thing all the way from California, 
I want to say it had to be within the last day the car was on the trailer, it was moved around, and it was parked underneath a car that leaked oil. And it leaked an oil spot, right? You can see there, and a little bit left right there. Uh, if you really get high, you can kind of see it, but honestly, if I didn't say anything, you probably wouldn't have noticed it. I tried everything to get that oil spot out. I tried steaming it, I tried Dawn dish soap, I tried orange pumice hand cleaner. I ended up using a product called Carbone or Carboni. It was from Walmart in a little yellow bottle. Carbone number seven oil and stain remover. I put it on there and it took almost all of it out. Um, so I was devastated because this top was in such nice condition to have it what I thought ruined, completely ruined, total loss due to someone's negligence. Um, I, I was I was just broken hearted. I didn't want to have to replace the top. It's the original top, it would take time. I didn't want to do it. I shouldn't have to do it. Um, the transporter and I negotiated a fair, well, more fair on his side. I should have went for more, but in the end, I'm happy now that it's clean. I didn't think it was gonna come clean uh, because it's such a light color. But yeah, it came out beautiful. So that was a lesson that usually, you know what, shame on me. Well, shame on the transporter. It shouldn't have been bottom loaded ever. Um, but most of the time when I do a cloth top car, I, I request it to be top loaded for that reason. Um, but anyways, that's my little story there. But uh, I'm, I'm happy that that happened with me and not going out to somebody else. But well, if it did, their insurance would have had to put a new top on the car. Uh, just, I mean, look at how clean the frame rail, you know, the wheels, beautiful chrome, white walls, gold mercury emblems. I like that. Just got all the glitz and glamour that I love. Couple little marks, I think I remember right. You know, little guy right there, a little chip. Um, doors are little guy right there. Nothing real crazy. Side of the mirrors, pockets are in great shape. Just clean, clean, clean. California car. I love California cars. I love garage California cars because they just show so well. I mean, look at how beautiful this car is. Again, burgundy pinstripe all the way down the sides. So I really don't think this car's had any paintwork because I believe that is the factory uh, pinstripe. Beautiful chrome wheels up here. Stainless uh, fender trim. Fresh set of white wall tires. A little bit of a chip right on the edge of the bumper there. Cornering lights, headlights. Now, I don't know what this is. If anybody can tell me, I, I mean, I want to peel it off because I feel like it's not supposed to be there. But at the same time, like, the hell is that? Um, I don't know. It's the original Mercury light. You can see the little Mercury emblem right there. But what the heck is this? I don't know if it's like a, an easy, no, it can't be like an easy pass. Why would someone put it on a headlight? I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you know what this is. It doesn't really have anything other than the FC 103 and then this number here, but underneath this little black dot, you can feel like a little bump. So there's gotta be something in there. Um, I don't know if it's a, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, beautiful mercury grill the other headlight doesn't have anything on it and factory headlight so i don't know i don't know what the heck that would be little chip right there little chip right there and then three little guys right here on the top edge of the bumper but otherwise this car is in a beautiful shape i absolutely adore it other than adding maybe a little bit of chrome on the rock is i would change nothing with this car drive this car with pride. I absolutely love finding these, you know, one owner, mom and pop, dolled up, dressed up, Panthers, Cadillacs. I told you I was gonna get off the town car kick. Uh, I haven't totally converted over to Cadillacs yet, <laughs> but we're at least out of the town cars. We've got grand marquees now. Uh, but I do have a lot of nice Cadillacs coming up, that 96 Fleetwood and whatnot, two white bromes. We're gonna get back into Cadillacs. Now, if the weather is here, we'll get into some of the old schools. That excites me just as much. All right, let's dive on into the inside of this Grand Marquis and tell you all about it. All right, hopping onto the inside of this beautiful 
beige panther platform not town car <laughs> but close to being a town car with all the options this car has like i said this thing is pretty pretty well optioned aside from having the heated seat option for the front seats i believe it has almost everything actually it doesn't have a moonroof which i am fairly certain they were available uh, but like a lot of early cars has the little snack pockets bananas snacks or you could hide um a um you know uh, i don't know easy pass in there or other paraphernalia whatever you want to put in that little pocket is up to you uh, but nice clean door jams you can see the birth date of this car uh five of oh two but real clean inside all the jams latches like i said california owned and operated since new the wood trim beautiful door pulls everything is just clean you have the fuel door popper trunk popper power driver seat uh, it does have power lumbar support uh carpeting is in real nice shape a little bit of maybe just a little bit of wear there Forty-nine thousand miles though it looks real well driver's seat nice and I mean, it's soft and supple you know it does have your typical creases i would say for you know leather wear but um otherwise real nice leather wrapped wheel with the wood trim you have all the cruise control and audio controls adjustable foot pedals traction automatic headlights like i said pretty well equipped car open up the back door here Nice and clean. And just look at how nice this thing is. And again, garage because I mean, super soft rubbers. I mean, look at that. The gaskets are in real nice shape all the way around. Door panels. Those don't open. Those are just fictitious looking things that <laughs> look like they were ashtrays at one point in their life, uh, but they're not carpeting in the back here is nice seat back pockets nice and tight back seat leather beautiful probably honestly hardly sat in i don't want to say oh no one's ever sat in the back seat but really probably very rarely used love 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 this car back seat again just real clean no creases or marks back here carpeting Real nice car. Door panels. Uh, one thing I thought that was kind of cool is the rear light here is just like the ones in the town cars, the earlier town cars. So they must have carried those a little longer. It does have the full overhead console set up, which I think is pretty unique for this car. I think that's an LS Ultimate thing. And all the gaskets, nice and soft, not even shrunk. Door panels, nice and clean. Dashboard, just beautiful. The wood, carpeting, passenger seat, probably not a lot of passengers in this car. Again, you have a little snack pocket there slide in your whatever maybe a protection piece real nice all right let's jump behind the wheel we'll start it up we'll pop the hood pop the trunk well both of them are already popped but we're gonna open them <laughs> all right behind the wheel here i always love to show you what i have for keys and stuff I do have two keys. I noticed Janet put her name on one of the keys, a little tag, and then two remotes here, two Ford remotes. Right, we'll start her up. Forty-nine thousand 
What am I looking at? 49,401 miles uh, on this car. You can get an air suspension pup kick on. I do have the original owner's manual, some little pamphlets here, even the key, key code uh, stickers that look like they've never been stuck on anything. Books and stuff. There's a center pull-out cup holder. Little guy down here where you can PowerPoint. Um, but it has all the cruise control buttons and buttons just like on the older town cars, which is kind of neat. It kind of retains that older um, Panther style. Uh, but before we get too deep in here, well, we already popped all this stuff. So let me show you. Gas cap. Nice. Uh, inside the trunk, nice, spacious. I do have all four floor mats. You can see the two rears, jack and stuff, driver side, passenger side. Oh, well, maybe it's just me. I don't know, a little darker, or maybe some staining or something going on there. You have the air suspension switch. It also has, it's a steel wheel, but it's a full size Michelin. Is that a white wall? It looks like a white wall. This car did come with Mich uh, Michelin white walls when it was new. I do have both California plates that adorn this car when I got it. Go inside the trunk there. That closes nicely. Under the hood here, real clean. This kind of is reminiscent of that 2003 town car I had where it has like tons of little quality control marks, like literally like little dots just all over everything. Has the timing uh, chain tensioner recall done, uh, but just super, super clean all throughout this car. Has an under the hood light. And you look at the block, some good stamping still on there. Just real, real nice. All the, you know, see these little green dots and stuff. Tons of stickers, all types of stuff still adorning this car. This car is just super, super nice. This is how I love to get them. All right, now let's take her for a spin. Beautiful. Automatic door locks engaged. We'll take her for a ride. Uh, so uh, for service work, this car we did do a little bit of work, not a ton. Um, Janice took great care of this car. Uh, the Carfax on this car is beautiful. Tons of service history on this car. Nice sweater guy. Uh, tons of service history on this car throughout its whole life, and she did everything: preventative maintenance, coolant flushes flushes of this flushes of that um, oil changes you know in time not miles so really over service this car which I'm totally okay with um, we did end up putting four new white walls on it one because it had black walls and two the black walls that were on it were from 2018 and granted that's not super old they were all out of round which is kind of crazy they were like oval shaped so I don't know if it's sad or if I don't know, flat spotted over a little bit of time, but um, those are junk. So we put white walls. I didn't need white walls anyways. Uh, did rear pads and rotors and then a left rear caliper. Um, only reason I did rear brakes and the caliper was it didn't have a pulsation. The brakes were great on it. Um, it actually had plenty of meat left. Let me let these people merge. Um, but the left rear inner pad was worn more than the other side and so i figured maybe the caliper was was dragging a little bit i don't know so we did pads rotors in the caliper just because i drove the car before and it didn't actually drag and overheat so i don't know what happened there but figured hey why not so did those um i think we did i uh, we did a fuel pump sending unit um the gas kind of smelled a little questionable so we pulled the, the pump and stuff out the gas actually wasn't horrible. We did a new, I ordered a pump and sending unit anyways. So we did a pump sending unit, a fuel filter, two hood struts. Those were blown or gone. The hood didn't hold up anymore. Um, what else? Tires. 
Uh, ba 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 Hood struts. We did a serpentine belt. Oh, and I did an intake manifold. The intake manifold was just starting to leak. Um, a little bit of coolant, uh, you could see it, and it failed the pressure test. So I did do the uh, intake manifold on this car as well. I'm sure I'm missing something else. I don't know, maybe I did. I know we did an oil change, little stuff, but the big stuff with the rear brakes, the intake manifold, um, tires, stuff like that. Also, I had to replace the radio in this car for those Panther gurus might notice that this is a newer radio out of an 04, no, 05, I think. Maybe it was an 06. It was either an 05 or an 06. Anyways, just like the early 03 town cars with the Alpine units, this these cars had issues with the radios as well. Um, the radio would work, it would power up, but if you hit seek, it would just seek through all the stations, like it wouldn't get service. And it wasn't an antenna problem, it's an internal radio issue. Um, the town cars do the same thing. Uh, so this is a radio out of a 2006, but all the steering wheel controls still work. Um, so that's great, backlighting and everything works. Uh, so nice little upgrade there. Cruise control on, set, speed control, works, holds, excellent. Um, it's a great car. It's it's just a really nice car. Like I said, power pedals. Turn here. Uh, pretty well cared for. Pretty well optioned as this. I thought this was cool. Look at the size of the eyeglass holder for this. Like you could stick those big, you know, wrap around <laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> Uh, typical Ford catered to the client, their clientele. I mean, that's it is what it is. I joke about it, but I absolutely adore stuff like that. Um, but she's a great running and driving car. Um, fully serviced, ready to go. Any questions about this Grand Marquis, you can give me a call, 978-930-1004. Uh, and like I always say, don't let distance stop you from getting a dream car like this in your driveway. I can help ship it. I shipped it from California. I can help ship it to you, and I will make sure it's top-loaded if it's going on a car carrier. <laughs> that honestly is something that any experienced transporter would know. Convertible tops, cloth tops, always go on the top. And even the owner of the company felt sympathetic. He said he should have known that. It, it was, you know, his own fault. Granted, you don't know what's going to leak, but just so you don't run that risk, you always top load a cloth top car. Um, so, oh, well, uh, you know what? It is what it is. People make mistakes. I'm just glad that the oil stain came out. Um, so that makes me happy. That was ecstatic when I saw how nice the top came out. The heck is that thing? Some junk, really. Ain't nothing like this grandma key. McLaren or something, maybe? Nah. See, I don't even know. Don't even care. What gets me more excited is Nana's grandma key. Anyways, price of this grandma key. Uh, I'm going to be asking $12,995 for this grandma key. 49,400 miles. Any questions, give me a call. I think this lady's trying to cut over into my lane. Go ahead. You might as well. Um, $12,995. Any questions, give me a call. My name is Anthony, specialtymotorcars.net. You can head over to my website, check out all the still pictures. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a video of the bottom of this car. I should have taken it when we had it up for service, but I can assure you the bottom of this car is as it rolled off the assembly line, just super, super clean. Really, really clean California car. Like I said, it's only been here in New Hampshire for just a couple weeks. So any questions, give me a call, 978-930-1004. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we'll talk to you on the next one.